Welcome to Jumanji! Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Jumanji The Next Level, the third installment in the Jumanji series. After coming off a very pleasantly surprising and hilarious fun adventure movie for the whole family, the second Jumanji was honestly a big pleasant surprise. As I'm a major fan of the original classic Jumanji with Robin Williams, I was excited for this one because of how great the second one was and how much fun I had with it. And I just wanted more of that aspect within it and what I can definitely say is the next level did have me laughing very much so and I had a big pleasant surprise again on my face as I was smiling throughout this one but before we get any further into this guys if you guys are new here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button where I do tons of early movie reviews talk tons of geeky content over here on a daily basis and I want to discuss it with you guys so make sure to comment down below and let me know what your guys thoughts are of course, make sure to hit that like button, guys, because it does help me on the algorithms. Of course, in Jumanji The Next Level, the gang is back, but the game has changed. As they return to rescue one of their own, the players will have to brave parts into unknown from deserts to snowy mountains to escape the world's most dangerous game. Since the game did change this time around, you gotta add in some new characters in here, and of course, Danny Glover and Danny DeVito join the cast in here. And from what you can see in the trailer, they are now playing the video game, and Dwayne Johnson is being played by Danny DeVito. And Danny Glover is being played by Kevin Hart in those avatars. And they are, you know, from the trailers, you can definitely feel the gimmick in there. But it's more than just a gimmick. They go for it. And it is hilarious. There are multiple moments in here, absolutely, where you just have a big smile on your face while you are sitting there cracking up and laughing at all the character interactions between every single person in here. And while I will say there are some times where they do lose the voice, where Dwayne Johnson's talking and it goes in and out of him talking like Danny DeVito and doing a Danny DeVito impression, Kevin Hart does actually do... A solid job i think i only caught it once where it was like oh that, that, that's kevin hart that's not danny glover but overall they do such a great job playing against each other and really again their banter with one another is superb it really does feel like that dwayne johnson is just playing danny devito and getting intersected into this world and i love how they are able to do it inside this game inside this movie of all things and those interactions are some of the strongest things that were so great in the original jumanji and within the sequel but even improved on in the this one with all the new cast and characters that are in here. Also, Aquafina joins the cast, and while she has a very small part, when she comes into the third act, there's something they do with her character that, again, had me laughing and rolling hysterically. I can't imagine. I have not laughed this hard or smiled this much in a movie in quite some time probably since even the second Jumanji, which is something that really comes to that captivating thing is how great these actors are in the role and how wonderful their chemistry is. And just like how the last one had really some scene stealers with Jack Black per se, this one, I felt like every single person got that one moment to shine. And I felt like there was no side showing everyone. Every single person had that one moment. You have Dwayne Johnson, you have Ruby Rose herself, Karen Gillan, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Aquafina. None of them feel like to be taking this show from anyone. They feel like they'd just be able to split it in between each other really seamlessly. And the set pieces, again, are elevated. They're opened up to a wider variety and take us into new avenues that Jumanji never got to take us in the last one. This is actually where I will say, I still think the last one was a better movie. While I laughed a lot, and while I had a lot of fun with this one, I do feel like that the pacing of this was a little bit slow at times, and there were quite a couple of scenes where I think you could have snipped it, and it wouldn't have changed anything in the plot, and actually those couple scenes were where the jokes were not landing, and felt like they weren't needed for the story. There was also some story choices that they decided to do with the characters that are out in the real world, that I felt were a little bit cringy, and were not needed to elevate the story like we already saw these character progressions in the other one and it's kind of feel like they backtracked a little bit too much and i wish they would have just kept it going with the smooth pace that they set up in the second one before i give you guys my final thoughts on the movie make sure again to hit that like and subscribe button comment down below let me know what your guys thoughts on jumanji 3 do you guys like it did you hate it let's discuss it make sure to look out for a ranking of all the jumanji films this weekend and of course if you guys are new here make sure to go head over to sandwich on films on well and how to see films early and of course a big thank you to you and a big thank you to my patreon supporters because without you i I wouldn't be able to do this. Manji the next level truly takes this game and movie to the next level. It's bigger, 
it's bolder, and in a sense, it makes you feel more brave. It takes you to new avenues inside the Jumanji world while also elevating a little bit of the mythology within the game. I like this movie a lot. I had a big smile, a big stupid goofy smile on my face while I was laughing a ton throughout it. And a lot of that goes because of the cast and their chemistry with one another. This new gimmick of having Dwayne Johnson play Danny DeVito and having Kevin Hart play Danny Glover is some of the most pure great casting choices and pure just great script choices. Like whoever has that thought deserves a raise. Like 100% deserves a raise because they made it work. And while you can hear here and there that it is a little bit incoherent, you can hear the rock and you can hear kevin hart it's, it's very minor setbacks some of the visual effects could have been touched up and again some of the pacing of the story could have definitely been way better i still had a blast with this movie and i think if you enjoy jumanji if you love this world and especially if you like the last one you're gonna have a blast with this you're gonna walk out with a big stupid goofy smile on your face like i did and i just i want another one and i'll let you know there is an after credit scene in this do look forward to it I had a feeling that if they were going to make another one, that's kind of the direction they would go. And the after credit scene kind of points it in that direction. I'm looking forward to it. So with all that said, I'm going to give Jumanji the next level a B. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Jumanji the next level. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? I'm curious to your guys' thoughts. And of course, would you play a Jumanji game if it was real? Let's discuss it, guys. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. And of course, until next time, stay classy.